when the map first loads, you'll see the entire state of California. To make sense of what you're seeing, take a look at the box in the upper right-hand corner here. The first item tells you what you're viewing. In this case, the California Healthy Places Index. Just below the title is the legend, indicating what score percentile each color on the map corresponds with. When viewing the HPI score, areas of dark and light blue indicate fewer healthy community conditions, where areas of light and dark green represent places with more healthy community conditions. Below that is a button that indicates what geography you're viewing. In this case, we're viewing census tracts. This box and the legend will change as we interact with the map. If you're ever not quite sure about what's shown on the screen, simply return here to be reminded. Now, let's take a look at a specific census tract and learn more about its community conditions. We'll jump to Golden Hill, a neighborhood in San Diego. When you select a tract, this details panel on the left will open. The first item is where this community is located. Here, we're in the city of San Diego. Next, you'll see the HPI score, followed by a visualization of where the score falls within the four quartiles from least healthy conditions to most healthy conditions. You'll notice two leader lines with the city and county average as well. This gives you a snapshot of how this neighborhood is doing compared to the overall city or county it's within. There's an interpretation sentence that follows to help you make sense of the score. We've also included some general information about the tract, including its ID number and the number of people who live here. Below that are our eight policy action areas with visualizations indicating each policy action area's percentile rank. In this panel, we can drill down in each policy action area. Let's take a look at economic, for example. When you click the arrow here, more information is revealed, including an interpretation sentence, plus a list of every indicator contained within this policy action area, their value and their percentile rank. Immediately, you can begin to see the nuance that the Healthy Places Index affords. While the overall score in this tract may indicate fewer healthy conditions, it's not uniform. There are indicators such as employed that this community is doing really well on. You are quickly able to identify the positive assets in a neighborhood as well as those conditions in need of improvement, the health opportunities of this community. If you see an indicator of interest, such as per capita income, you can click further to get more information. As with the overall HPI score, you'll get a visualization and interpretation of this indicator's percentile rank in this census tract, as well as a host of specific details about this indicator, including a straightforward definition, the indicator's value, and here, how this indicator connects to health. This connection to health text provides important context in simple language about the linkage between this indicator and health outcomes. Our goal with the Healthy Places Index is to make it easy to take data and turn it into action, giving you the tools to improve your community's health. That's where policy opportunities comes in. For each of the Healthy Places Index indicators, we provide a detailed policy guides that offer specific, actionable, and relevant policy solutions. When you click on the Policy Opportunities button, you can view a summary of policy actions linked to this indicator, with more details available if you click through. For each policy, we provide a short description, examples of the policy in action, and links to reputable resources for detailed guidance on implementation, toolkits, templates, and in some cases, funding opportunities. While we're here, let's look at one of these little icons. These are our benefit buttons, flagging that this policy has extra benefits. In this case, health. But there are also a host of other icons, including those for policies that benefit equity, the environment, 
quality of life, and more. We're excited to offer this detailed suite of policy solutions alongside the wealth of data in HPI. Returning to the Indicator Details panel, you'll see that below the policy actions, we've provided the full technical definition for the indicator as well as the data source and year. You can return to the policy action area and overall HPI score by clicking the back button here. Beyond the policy action areas and individual indicators is our detailed racial justice and health equity panel. Community conditions are an important way to describe a neighborhood, but it doesn't tell the whole story. That's why we've added key measures of equity and diversity that you can explore here. Up first is a detailed race ethnicity profile of the census tract. You can see both large and small race ethnicity and national origin categories here. By clicking on a race, such as Asian alone, you can see the subgroups that are represented in this community. In this case, of the 4.3% of the population that are Asian alone, nearly two-thirds, or 63.6%, .6 are Chinese. Many small subpopulations are geographically dispersed across California. If you wanted to see how Filipinos, for example, are distributed in the state, you can use our Filter by Race Ethnicity tool linked here. There are more details about this in the filtering video. Finally, we include three priority measures of equity and diversity visible in this section here. Race Ethnicity Diversity Index, which is a measure of how diverse this community is. Race Ethnicity Diversity of Electeds, which is a measure of how the race ethnicity composition of this county's elected representatives compares to its population. And finally, Historically Redlined, which flags whether this community was officially redlined by the Homeowners Loan Corporation in the early 20th century, an important measure of historical disadvantage that continues to have impacts today. As with our HPI indicators, more information about each of these measures can be found by clicking the arrow on the right-hand side. From here, we encourage you to explore further by comparing this neighborhood with other communities or using any of the other features and functions we have available.